back in the the, the late uh, fuck me back in the late eighties, Final Fantasy was first released on the NES. It was the first. Uh, <laughs> no, it was. Back in the 80s, Final Fantasy was. Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was released on the NES. Yeah, you had to pick between four characters. And I believe they were a mage, ninja, warrior. Back in the late 80s. Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was first released on the NES console. This was the first Final Fantasy I've ever played. I was probably around 8 or 9. And it grew on me. It was turn-based, and uh, back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was first released on uh, the Super Nintendo. Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was released on the Nintendo Entertainment System. It was the first Final Fantasy I ever played. And it was turn-based. You had four characters. The graphics were what I thought at the time was great. It was an experience for me. What I remember the most about it is uh it was its laid back kind of game. Oh, fuck me. Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was released on the Nintendo Entertainment System. It was the first one I ever played, and I was probably around 8 or 9. You had, you... Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was released... Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was released on the Nintendo Entertainment System. It was the first Final Fantasy I ever played. The combat system was turn-based. I can't waste time. Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was released. Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was released on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I was probably 8 or 9, and it was the first I ever played of it. It was a turn-based RPG, new to me because I was a kid. The graphics blew my mind back then. I always remember it to be a relaxed kind of game. Sit back, eat your supper or whatever, just enjoy it. Play it, enjoy the story, uh, you were to uh, defeat a boss. Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was released on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I was probably 8 or 9. It was the first Final Fantasy I ever played. What I remember the most about it was turn-based, and the graphics blew my mind. I really enjoyed it, and here's some gameplay. Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was released. Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was released on the Nintendo Entertainment System. It was the first RPG I ever played, and it was my first Final Fantasy game. I was probably eight or nine. But what I remember the most about it. Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was released on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I was probably eight or nine years old, and it was the first RPG I ever played. And it was also the first RPG. What I remember the most about it was turn-based, which was new to me. I was used to Mario, like all you guys. The gameplay was uh, was a bit slow-paced, and I, it actually grew on me because I could eat, drink, take a break, walk away from it, come back and finish a fight. It wasn't this was it action-based, uh, real-time. Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was first released on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I was probably 8 or 9 and it was the first RPG I ever played and the first Final Fantasy. It was a turn-based RPG and had great graphics from what I can remember as a kid. Uh, the action in it was, like I said, turn-based. 
Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was released. Hello. Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was released. Back in the late... <laughs> Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was released. Back in the late 80s, Final Fantasy was released on the Nintendo Entertainment System. It was the first RPG I ever played and the first Final Fantasy. I can remember it because I was 8 or 9 and it grew, it grew on me. The game was turn-based and the graphics blew my mind as a kid. What you could actually do with turn-based is actually eat your supper, sit down and play it and enjoy the game. It, was, it was, wasn't none of this real-time stuff. Something I, I don't like and it's what became Final Fantasy for me. Let's check in on some gameplay. 